Right, we're on. I'm right in between lessons just now, and that's what I used for my last lesson. I'm going to talk about how we can improve strike and improve the path of your golf club trying to hit the ball. A little bit more of a draw or certainly get an into out swing path. If you've got a slice, this is going to help. This is something this is something I've just done with my last lesson. And it's amazing how the man in question or the golfer in question was able to adjust his body or his body assembled himself or itself to create the strike we were after. It's a strange one, but I thought I'd pass on this information to you guys because it's important. I've just done a lesson with a chap who was hitting the wrong part of the golf ball. Now, 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 what do we mean by hitting the right part of the golf ball? I wonder if there's actually a correct part of the golf ball to hit. Of course there is. So this chap was slicing. Slice was his problem. He was coming in with face open and the path was going left so we had to alter things. I explained to him what happened to path, how path can be moved or how to move path more into out to reduce his slice. But then we looked at the golf ball slightly differently and he was then able to assemble his body to hit the correct part of the golf ball. Do you know what, just watch this and we'll discuss it all. So we had a slice issue, path going out to in, so path cutting across the golf ball in this fashion, face open to the path and the curvature of the golf ball was going out to the right. Now the gentleman in question was hitting the wrong part of the golf ball, so I mean is there a correct part of the golf ball you can hit? I guess there is. This guy was quite a good player, he was a single figure handicap, he had a good awareness of path and face to path, and he understood what was going on. By impact, he 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 looked at the golf ball in a way that, that encouraged path to be slightly out to in. So he used the golf ball as a whole, he looked at the whole golf ball, right in the middle of the golf ball, and that, that, just, that, that wasn't helping things at all. So looking right in the middle of the golf ball, I've talked before about looking at a dimple on the left side of the golf ball, now that for me and for other golfers that I've coached has encouraged them to get the weight through. So by looking down at the left side of the golf ball or a dimple on the left side of the golf ball, that encourages me to get the body to open up and I feel as though it impact and looking back at the ball as I strike it. So I'm there and I get that ball tough strike. Of course, as I say, that's personal to me, it's personal to other players and each, each player's individual. So this for you might work, might not work, but give it a try. So we took the golf ball, a little black line on your golf ball. We all draw some kind of line on our golf ball nowadays, don't we? I place that line directly on his target line. So we're straight up there, ball to target line, black line on there. So now, when we look at the golf ball and put club behind the golf ball, I wanted this player to focus on the side of the golf ball, or this half of the golf ball closest to the player. I'm going to use this ping golf ball just to make life easier. So I put the ping ball down, middle of the ball, between the white and the orange, straight down the target line. And then from there, I got this player to put the club down the back of the golf ball, straight down the line. Address position. Now the side of the golf ball in this instance is the orange side. That was the only side I wanted the player to be interested in. So I, was, I told him, just forget about the white side, be fully focused on the orange side of the golf ball. So the half of the ball closest to the player. So address ball, and I wanted him to make contact somehow with the orange side of the golf ball. And I never told him how to do that, I just let him figure that out. And just like me looking at the left hand side of the golf ball, the dimple on the left, my body assembles itself to that, which gets the weight forward, gets the ball turf strike, like Eureka Golf Swing. On this instance, using the orange half of the golf ball closest to the player, so the player half of the golf ball if you like, he was able to assemble his body, his, his weight distribution, his pressures, his hands, his path of the golf club, to be able to hit that half of the golf ball. The white half of the golf ball, zero interest in that whatsoever. Zero interest in that. The only rule of the game was, in order to hit the orange half of the golf ball, the player side of the golf ball, the path's going to have to be from in to out. Now I did not want the player to move the handle of the golf club through the orange and into the white across there. I did not want that. That was the only rule. Anything else you could do. So the player stepped up. I'm going to use the yellow ball because I don't want to hit that ball away, it's the only one I have. So I use black line, focusing on left side of golf ball as I look down target or player side of ball as I address it. 
So right from there the player was able to hit shots and hit this side of the golf ball fully immersed in the process, not thinking about how to do it, just getting up there and just hit that side of the golf ball please. Player steps up, focusing on a certain part of the golf ball, he's looking at this side, whether he's looking at the back dimple, front dimple, don't know. But he wanted to make contact with this half of the golf ball. And all of a sudden the ball flight was straighter. He was hitting the half of the golf ball closest to him. Had he used the hands to go out towards the golf ball, then he's going to lift the club up. Club piece is going to point to the right because of that, even though the leading edge looks so it's square to target. Facing tilt is going to point out to the right, and then he would start right and go further right. So that was the only rule, was it? looking at this side of the golf ball, his half, he had to make contact with that, but the hands were not to go near the golf ball. Stepped up, focusing on his own half of the ball, and his hands are coming through on a path that is allowing the club head to be thrown out towards the orange half, or the player half of the ball as the hands come left, and he hit the inside half of the golf ball pretty much every time. Strike was great, ball flight was a lot less curvature to the right, in fact there was very little curvature to the right. That was because he was able to control path and face to path. If he had path out to in and the face was open and he caught this orange side, you'd immediately see that the ball flight was straight right or curves to the right, he was aware of that, so he was trying to tackle this back quarter, back right quarter of the golf ball if you like, by getting the hands to come left, close to the left thigh, and the club gets thrown out towards his orange half of the ball. That was awesome. And strike was good. So really just by focusing on half of the golf ball and completely ignoring the other half, he was able to straighten up ball flight. And as I mentioned, I never told him how to hit that part of the golf ball. All I said was the hands can't travel out towards the golf ball. Isn't that incredible? So zero interest in the white half of the golf ball. 100% 100 focus on the orange half of the golf ball. That was the object of the game. Do not let the hands go closer to it. Just let the club fly out towards it. And that assembled the body. It moved it ahead of the ball. It moved the body open. The hands came left as the club went out towards the orange half of the golf ball and he figured that out, just completely figured it out, took half the golf ball out of the equation. So then he steps up, lining every ball up, Use, we're using 7 iron, I've got 8 iron just now, there, focus, and it came natural, you could feel the body moving out the way, so the body was opening up towards target like Eureka does, the hands were coming left, as the hands come left the club head went out to the right. So there was a good opening motion, his weight was transferring left and this was all from the focus of trying to hit that orange half of the golf ball or the player side of the golf ball. I can't, I can't emphasise enough how much we ignored the white side. This side of the golf ball was just not in the game. It was fully immersed in this side of the ball, player side. Stepped up, took a dress position, had a couple of feels, you could feel how the body opened up could feel how the weight transferred left, could feel how the hands went left, yet the club was going out to the right, out towards his orange half or the player half of the golf ball. As the body opened up, you can see the path there's in to out. And he was fully immersed in his own side of the golf ball. The white side of the orange ball, no interest. Fully immersed in the inner half of that golf ball. Whew. So there we go, do you remember these? That must be 1984-ish, I don't know. So there we go, as I say, fully immersed in the inside half of the golf ball. And strike became, it was absolutely incredible. Um, just being able to control path, control weight transfer, distribution pressures, forward shaft lean, hand path, all these things from fully focusing on one half of the golf ball. Mind blowing. As I say, it might work for you, it might not work for you. Um, 
leave a comment below, let me know, give it a try. Also, looking, I mean, as I say, I looked at the left hand side of the golf ball when I when I was golfing, there's a video out called Irons Only, and I talk a lot about that, and I do that with Eureka, and I feel as I'm looking back at the ball. So that would be a case of turning the ball the other way. I'm looking at the left side of the golf ball, which for me, the body assembled its way correctly. It put me in a position where I was able to get weight through, body open up, ball turf, strike forward, shaft lean, sustained line of compression, loads of things like that that Eureka Golf Swing gives you as well. And this player was able to do it from the inner half of the golf ball. But what do we do as amateurs or, or average golfers? We just look at the golf ball as a whole. We look at it as a whole rather than looking at it in two halves.